Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Nest. If you haven't watched my top six collaboration sneaker in the year 2022, check them out. I'm gonna leave the link in the description box below. In this video, I'm gonna share with you guys my 10 top sneaker released in the year 2022. I think they have a lot of great release, but I would not recommend people to spend so much money on a pair of shoes or buy so many shoes. Think about it. How many pair of shoes that can a person wear? I will give you the max a person can wear is 12 pairs. So you basically wear one new shoes per month. That is not enough for you. To me, like I would not recommend people to spend too much money on a materialistic thing. I would uh, recommend you to get in shape if you haven't already. Um, that is the most priority when you have a great body in great shape You will look good in everything, you know, even topless or naked You will still look good without those uh, fancy expensive clothes or Exclusive sneakers. Let's go straight into my top release sneaker in this 2022 The first one is a Nike Zoom Vomero 5 Man, I'm telling you, man, this shoe is so damn comfortable that I fall in love with it because of the comfy. The aesthetic wise is very good too. I can see uh, where the shoes were when I go traveling or when I uh, wear them for working out as well. Um, it's a great shoes for running too, you know, lightweight, comfortable. And uh, the shoes is actually, they released for women only for this colorway but I would not worry about that just get the shoes try them on you will love the shoes the retail price on this is $140 which is very affordable price for a pair of shoes with a good aesthetic and also very comfortable and let's go to the second one is this Adidas Stan Smith Luxe retail price $145 it's a little bit expensive compared to the regular Stan Smith. Uh, this one is special in my opinion. Very comfortable, premium leather, and also very well executed. I hope in the future, this is uh, the standard for most of Adidas products, you know, because um, the leather on this is more like someone that comment on my video. They say it's the McQueen's version of Stan Smith. That is really good compliment for a pair of Stan Smith's luck and I really love the show. Hopefully in near future they go on sale so I can stack up a couple pair waist sneaker for myself as well. So let's go to the third shoes on this list is A6 HN2 S Poto Plush. Retail price $120 which is very affordable and the design aesthetic on these shoes is a little bit different than the regular DNA from A6, you know. I love the branding logo that forward around the toe area, look very nice. And also they have some support detail around the arch area in the midfoot. And the color blocking on these shoes is just amazing. Um, I love unique color blocking on the show. And also the shoes is very lightweight very comfortable the only thing that i'm not really a fan of asic products is majority their products make out of pu leather which is why the price is only 120 dollars i will give asic brand on the number one or number two spot for this year 2022 because they've done amazing work just like converse brand you know those two brands can compete for the number one and number two spot. Uh, I really like these two brands. Recently, I'm more very focused on A6 a lot because um, they have a lot of cool products released, uh, you know, for the last uh, couple of years. So let's go into the fourth on this list, the Converse Chuck 70 Plus. The retail price only $100. As uh, you already know from the pricing, on this brand is very affordable price and they are very stylish i love the detail on this it's just like have you ever played the apps game ninja slide the fruit this is what i think of when i look at the shoes uh, because um, they slide up 
create a different detail on the scale of the Converse Chuck 70. Plus that means more like a plus size on the detail wise I guess. And also um, the height on this though will give you around like 2 inches height. And go to the fifth on this list which is the Air Jordan 1 Lost and Found. And the pricing on these shoes is cost $180. The only reason that I put these shoes on my list is first, very iconic design. Second is because my first ever Air Jordan 1 in the OG colorways, you know, I'm, I feel like I'm so proud of myself that I got the shoes on the Nike sneaker app. A lot of my friends got an L on these shoes. so feel proud of myself and I'm definitely not gonna wear the shoes on the street because uh, the shoes is so damn uncomfortable and I'm gonna leave the shoes in my classes wait for a couple years when the price go up I will resell them I guess I'm gonna make a couple hundred for the show um, I really like the color on the shoes you know and the story behind uh, Lost and Foul the OG red colorways from this Air Jordan 1 but in the end of the day the shoes meant to be wear and also you gotta be comfortable for the people to wear and let's go to the sixth sneaker on this list is this Adidas Indoor Gazelle Pricing is $150. This recent year, the Adidas Gazelle Samba is really come back to the trend wave, you know. Um, I think the shoes is very essential. Love the aesthetic of the shoes and um, I like the Adidas Indoor Gazelle better than the Samba because of the outsole tooling and also the aesthetic wise, they are pretty much the same if you look at the design line but the shape of uh, the shoe slats that they use are different and also I don't want to spend too much money on a pair of Adidas collaboration with Gucci Indoor Gazelle so I would pick this one into the spot. I never really see myself to spend like a thousand dollars for any type of sneaker I don't care if you put a big ass diamond on the shoes, I still don't really want to. Unless the shoes is very high value in resale, then I would get them just making some bread. You know, that is only for the business, no feeling there. And go to the number 7 on this list is another ASIC sneakers. HS4 S Gel Sonama 1550 GT God damn, it's the long ass name as usual from A6. The pricing on this is $150. And the shoes, they use Gore-Tex material in the linings. The outsole traction look very good and um, definitely it's a great shoes for hiking, I guess, because um, these shoes have great construction and secure around the midfoot as well as in the heel counter and they actually just released on this model the collaboration between A6 and APC they are more like an upgrade version of this uh, model you know they give it more premium leather sway and also with a little bit of the different color blocking as well and let's go to the 8 on this list is I Thing is the most expensive sneaker on this list for this 2022 that I ever got and I actually returned them back because $500 for the shoes is way too much for me to afford them. Uh, it's the Y3 Runner 4D EXO. I love the design process on these shoes. Like, until this day, I still want to see the sketching I ideation on this sneaker and I also love the cute case that in the back of the shoe go all the way to the eye stay it's just fascinated to me to look at the design like this you know um, perhaps it's uh, the best design in this 2022 maybe because I'm just love looking at the footwear design in general so that's why I give the shoes is number one spot in the design aesthetic wise styling wise is a little bit hard for some people to create look for this particular shoe because a lot of shoes they look good on its own but on feet on the style is a little bit harder the shoes is very comfortable though they use the 4d printed midsole so it's keep it more extra futuristic 
with the upper. I love the shoe so much, but I just don't love the pricing on the shoe. And let's go into the nine on this list, which is the Nike ISPA Link. The pricing on this ISPA products in general is a little bit pricey. This one cost you $225. Able to compare it to the Nike Zoom Vermaro 5 because they are very similar comfort wise. I picked this one because the shoe's entire upper knit, you're able to remove it from the outsole tooling, which is very cool. Go to number 10 on this list, possibly would never in the list of 10 best sneaker of the year for sure is the Adidas Crazy One Snake Skin. But hey, I'm more into the design of the shoes over the aesthetic of the shoe. I love the design process on this crazy one to the execution of the shoes. It's just very well made and it's a little bit weird for some. I just think the shoes have the image of the toaster. Until now, I still have the toaster image in my head when I saw the shoes. Comfort wise, not so much, man. Not so much comfort. I think I've done a pretty good job in styling with this weird sneaker because I believe I can make everything look good and I believe in my eyes and my taste in style as well. So there you go. This is my 10 shoes that I think they are the best release in the year 2022. If you like one of the shoes in this video or if you like one of the look I create to go with the show, comment below in the comment sections. And don't forget to give me a thumb up. That would help me a lot. And I will see you soon on the next video. I'm out.